Welcome back folks. Right, we review again tonight. We've got a couple of things from a company called Solo Welder. So I've got the I've got a spliceable table, which is the bigger item, and I've also got the outdoor folding rack. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a look at this first. That's the folding rack, and this is the splicing table. So I'm going to take a look at this first outdoor folding rack. So, it comes in the bag. Right, it comes in the bag. So, I think this doubles up as a couple of things. There's a wee table and the kind of larger table. So, that's the kind of main part of it. This bag here. On it. Two different bits and bobs. I think what you can do is you can actually attach this to the kind of main table. So we'll set that up first to show you what it looks like. Put it out the bag. You can also insert it straight into the ground as well. So these are the, the different parts. To it, so you get the four poles, sorry, three poles, a small kind of, I don't know what you'd call it, kind of vice. This section at the top, which I'm sure you could use to hang pots on or a light. It's probably actually, I, th I would think, for a light, to be honest. So, very simple, it all just screws together. So, put my screw in there. I'll oh, screw in here. Can adjust these as well to whatever height you want. Right, once you've done that, that's basically very simple. Just slots on, and then it's got one of these kind of tightening things that you can just so tighten it up and then you can also adjust this table part to whatever height you want. Also on the top part just unscrew that. That slots on. Tighten it up. And you get a wee hanging section. So I'll show you that kind of set up. Right so that's basically it. Obviously, these two spikes, it's just a case of sticking it into the ground. So, to me, this is going to be ideal see, for the likes of the hot tent. Well, it's like you're sitting in your hot tent, you maybe get the, your cot bed out, etc. Really, we kind of neat design. Obviously, you can stick the lantern onto this top section. I'm just kind of burrow you around to show you it from this side. Right, so obviously you can hang your, your lantern or whatever on this section. You get your, your wee table, which again, both of these you can adjust to whatever height you want. And then it's a simple kind of spikes that go into the ground. So, all in all, it's actually quite a, a neat wee piece of kit. This will be good for the hot tent. I'll definitely, I'll use this. That's the outdoor folding rack. Now we're going to have a look at the outdoor folding table, or spliceable table. I've actually sent the two of these. Uh, I'm just going to set the one up, but I'll show you how they basically kind of join together, etc. You can also utilise uh, the folding rack and attach this, attach that to this table. So I'll show you that as well. So, what's in the box? What's in the box? So you get a... Uh, Carry case for the handles feels pretty thick, good quality. You get the main section of the table, which has also got the solo wilder. I think it's made of aluminium, so I wouldn't say it's that heavy to be honest, but it does look very solid. Right, you. Yeah. 
get the four legs. Right, also four feet. And then you also get these sections here, which I'm assuming will slot into, I think the slot into the top part, and we'll find out in a wee minute. So, putting it together, very simple, just all basically screws together. So, just a case of one, two, three, four. Again, probably use this for the lights of the kind of hot tent. I wouldn't take this one far with me. Just because of generally the size of it. But if you're going to be in your hot tent, at the end of the day, if you're in a hot tent, you've got all your stuff with you. Unless you're, you're taking a lightweight hot tent, you're going to go with all the gear right so that's the four legs screw it on right feet I'm assuming just pop on the bottom four of them one two three and four. These bits here, like I say, you can kind of see from the picture here, if you've got more than one of these tables, what it'll do is it'll just slot on and you can build up basically a couple of tables to, to your own configuration. Right, and then it'll just be a case of tightening them all together. It's actually, again, quite a neat wee design. Then, obviously with the outdoor folding rack, we can attach that uh, to the actual table. So, just show you how you do that just now. Different ways to do it. First way, obviously, you could just screw it straight into the top here. Or, if you want, you could also use a section here. So again with that, it's got all the wee all the readjusting things so all you'd have to do is basically slot that and like that so again for you bit more sturdiness you can put this back on right ram that into the ground And then basically, oh, do it. Just do it, yeah. do it right at the back of the table. Right, and then obviously just tighten this up. We'll show you what it looks like. Put it on the actual kind of grass surface. So that's the whole thing put together. It's like I say, we've got a nice kind of main table part. You this kind of upper level, which again moves up and down. Same with the, the hook at the top for your lantern or whatever. Again, fully adjustable. So I think that would actually be quite kind of handy. You know, your food out the table there, maybe sit with your, with your mug on that. Or if you wanted, you, you didn't want to use the full table, you could just use this section on its own. But all in all, that actually looks not too bad. So that's the the table and what did I call it? The folding rack. So looks pretty good to me. Get a couple of close ups. And then it obviously goes into the bag. So that's the solo wilder gear. They did do a nice uh, a stove as well. 
Uh, who knows, we'll maybe get that to look at as well. But that's the, the table and the outdoor folding rack. So, as ever, folks, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Adios.